larger than life. Here we go. Woohoo. Ta da! Good morning, and welcome to the most dangerous show of the week. Yeah, I don't even have to talk anymore. It's good. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the Sun Dragon Sideshow, the VSC edition. Virtual shopping channel. We've stopped saying like what that VSC means. And we have newbies. Hi, everyone who's new to our channel. Um, who go what? But that was because it's because QVC. We were trying mm -hmm. to do like a riff off of QVC, which only some people know what that is now, I feel yeah. like, you know, but that's okay. Anyway, so yes, hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in rainy and kind of nasty and kind of chilly, but could be worse, Brevard, North Carolina. I'm Liz. I'm the minion there. <laughs> we're having a thing on, on Sunday. People were still wondering what you were saying. Yeah. I heard that. I don't know. Yeah. I'm used to you saying that, though. So, <coughs> looking at... Oh, wait, wait. My watch says it's 49 degrees outside. Yeah, it's going to be... Which is a little bit damp and chilly and... Ugh. Warmer today than it will be tomorrow, and mm -hmm. it's kind of gross. Kind of gross, yeah. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Um, we have so many events coming up and so many things. It's what's really funny. I'm like, I'm watching, I'm looking at how we are on the screen is it's a nasty day outside, but the way the light's coming in through the windows, I feel like it's brighter than normal. There's a lot of refracted light. Look at you being all sciencey. <laughs> I think when it's overcast, we wouldn't have as much of that loveliness going on, but True. hey, it's okay. So. Getting back to what I was saying, with um, with all, we have local yarn store day coming up on Saturday, and we have the yarn crawl coming up in a week and a half. It's, I mean, technically it's two weeks from yesterday, right? Um, but I'm still going to say like for full weekage purposes, it's about a week and a half away. Um, <coughs> it does start Tuesday, May 9th. Um, we have a lot of things we need to do. And actually, you're seeing just a hint of the things I'm trying to see, these bags, that. Um, I'm trying to get kits together today for the local yarn store day shawl from Casa Pinka. We have there's so many pretties that I want to put together that <coughs> I, did a, I did like this many of yesterday at the very end of the day, and Liz did this many of at the very end of the day. And... Um, it's it's one of those you start making kits and then you're like I don't know what do you know we also had a customer come in we did we and got distracted there were and then, lots of and kits then Liz made. goes and so and some of them are similar to each other but a little different so there's choice um, Casa Pinka just put out like she's on a cruise now but she held up the shawl for a nice photo so if you go to Casa Pinka on Facebook or Instagram, you can see what we're headed towards. I have mine <coughs> partially. We'll see how much more I can get done. But here is like the beginning of mine. I think I like my colors a lot. Actually. I like your colors. A lot. So, <coughs> um, anyway, long story long to say we're not putting a yarn on sale this week. You have the opportunity to save 20% on Saturday, Saturday only with the code LYSDAY2023 on everything but kits, the new sticker and pin we will reveal, um, discounted yarns. I mean, the, the kits because they're already discounted. Discounted yarns like the Surprise Me Sale Bin Support Boxes and the Minion Bags of Mystery, that kind of stuff. Everything else you're going to save 20% on. So you have a chance on Saturday to save on like all the stuff that's online. You can call us if you want to buy a yarn that's here in the shop that's not online, but please be patient with us because I don't think Carol's going to be here Saturday either, right? Um, Carol's traveling, yes. and, and she's usually the one who helps with the phone when we're busy in the shop. So we're going to ask for lots of patience on Saturday um, if you'd like to contact the shop, but we will try to help everyone we can. If I can have a mignonette here, we will. It might be Bernie. It might be somebody <laughs> else. <laughs> so. I don't, I don't laugh. I'm not laughing at Bernie. I'm just, the, the choices are interesting. Um, <laughs> he, 
He's coming tomorrow, so we'll see if we can get him out on Saturday. But, yeah, you know. yeah. But it also depends on, like, the weather and yeah. things he wants to do. And, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, um, all that to say, we still are going to give you something to be on sale this week because it wouldn't be a VSC without that. Um, what we're, we, we decided to do uh, today is say all coconuts, all the running notions, and why limit ourselves? So... <laughs> All Cocoa Knits products, and we're going to go through some of them. I don't think we were able to pull all of them because we have a lot. Um, all Cocoa Knits products will be 15% off through next Tuesday with the code product of the week with spaces between the words. You cannot combine that with a local yarn store day code on Saturday, but on Saturday you can save <coughs> 20% off on a lot of things rather than 15% off on just cocoa knits. So, you know, pick your poison, as they say. Um, no pre-orders on this because we are trying to really focus our energies on getting ready for the crawl and a little bit getting ready for local yarn store day. So we're not placing a whole lot of orders right now. We're trying to um, streamline and organize what we have already in the shop. And we're only ordering if we absolutely have to because at this point, things aren't going to get here in time for the, like they might but they probably won't get here in time for the crawl. So yeah. we, we really have to shift our focus. Um, all that being said, all Cocoa Knits products, everything from the little itty bitties to the big stuff. And <coughs> I, it, it's fun. Like some of some stuff we'll have limited quantities of because they aren't big sellers for us. And some things we'll have a lot of stock on. And some things if, if we run out of, we'll try to get back in before the crawl, but we probably won't. So. Um, it's only on available stock. So what should we start with, Liz? <coughs> My favorite <laughs> is the Maker's Keep. It is retailing for twenty one ninety five. It's a magnet on top of a slap bracelet. So it can lay flat, and it's got like a, a ruler on the back yes. of it. If you want to use it as a ruler. You can pull the magnet off. And there is both centimeters and inches on one half. I Which don't think will not they can show up that far it. away, yeah. but that's okay. Uh, um, it's little divots. Yep. In there, and and then you can wear it. We have it in several colors. You'll have to check out our inventory online. I don't advise <laughs> slapping it on your wrist. No, she tried with the the, the magnet, magnet's which is really heavy. heavy. If you do it gently, it's fine. But we we put it on and go. It, it's about the same size as a smartwatch, like an iPhone and. Um, and I watch, excuse me, it's, you know, um, but it's got this big, heavy magnet on top. And that's because 90% of coconuts products have metal somewhere in them, whether they're vinyl coated stitch markers or, um, <laughs> vinyl um, coated stitch markers that go, look, all the stitch markers are right on your wrist where you need them. <laughs> the stitch markers, what I like about the stitch markers is um, a lot of the the sets, like the smalls and the minis, um, or the regulars and the smalls, and um, I'm trying to remember which other ones. Like They come in sets of 60. Yeah. When you get to the jumbo size, you don't have quite 60 in there. The triangles come with an assortment of different sizes, and it's in the 50s how many stitch markers you get. But all that's like just under 10 bucks regular price, like just hovering under $10. And while $10 might sound like a lot for stitch markers, um, it what did the, I have an errant stitch marker that's that is the like, same color as the wrist ruler. That's funny. Yeah. Um, but um, it might sound like, well, that's a lot to pay for stitch markers, but you get 60. Or 50, the, or, you know, you get a the lot of clover them. stitch markers we sell that are not on sale this week are, like, 20 or 30 for, like, $7. <laughs> and so it's, like, you pay a few dollars more and you get a bunch more. So um, the, the cable needles are bamboo, but they have metal in the middle. So when you have to put your cable needle down, you can have it right on your wrist. Stitch fixer. Looks like a two-ended crochet hook. It <laughs> and it's, you know, it's going, sticks. it sticks through even with a couple pieces yeah. of plastic and paper in there. Um, we're not going to go through all the prices of all these things uh, because it's going to take too long. And this might yep. be a really short episode and, and you'll say, but you could have listed all the prices, but we have a lot of stuff to do. So <laughs> um, when we have things that aren't metal, 
they are are eco-conscious like they're made out of something that is biodegradable i actually want to go get the um the needle gauge for a second yeah yeah because that's just a funky different thing so like the claw clips they've they've remade these they used to be clear and now they are um they're like a an op like an oatmeal colored they're really good it says plastic free on it it looks like plastic but it's not they're really good for piecing things together for holding things together they're like little, little hair clips almost um, we have colorful stitch stoppers in three different colors, and we like these. Let's just say we have stitch stoppers in three different, um, because in three different varieties. Varieties, yes. We have the colorful, we have neutral, and we have earth tone, which are like a muted pastel. Yeah. So each size will be a different shade or color. Yep. Um, and so you get to pick, do you want the bright and cheery? Do you want the neutral grays? Do you want the earth tones that are subtle? And we, we like them cause it's tw a 24 pack with four stoppers in six different sizes. Yes. And they go all the way from a zero to a 15. So it's, and those guys are like in the $12 range, um, regular price. And it's like, yeah, that's a lot more stitch stoppers than I need. But let's be honest. How often do you lose your stitch stoppers? How often do you need, if you were going to get them from Clover, you might need to buy different sets of different sizes to stay. Because we've had, we've had times when only the, the jumbo ones were in stock from Clover because we were between orders. And, and, and we were like, they might work on smaller needles. And we had a customer who returned them for shop credit because they weren't working for her. And we understand if the packaging is all good, you can return for shop credit. Um, and that credit can be used from far away. You just have to call us. So if you're, if you're dissatisfied with a product and um, we've shipped it to you and the packaging is such that you can send it back, is in good enough shape, you can send it back and we can put it back on our shelves, you, we will ask you to cover the cost of shipping it back to us, but then we will give you shop credit again for that, which you can use by calling us or coming in, you know, either way. So um, we're going to go back to the... The plastic, the metal stuff. Oh. Well, I'm gonna say we're gonna return to the metal stuff and the stuff that functions on magnets. But first, um, this other looks like plastic isn't plastic. If you like nifty gadgets, and that just fell on the floor, and I can't reach it. <laughs> um, this nifty thing, and there sometimes the colors are in different orders on it. This is actually a needle gauge, which I think is kind of cool. We've had these for a while. We, we only have a few in stock. Um, we have limited stock of them. But each, like, it's got a core metal bar in here. And um, biodegradable plant fiber is what this is made from. It's made from plant fiber. So they actually caution not to leave it in, like, really hot temperatures and stuff, I think. Don't leave it in your car in the summer because mm -hmm. it'll, it'll start to melt. But you can swing these out. And the different holes for different sizes of needles, it has written on it, like the one I have out is an 11. So you can swing them out and try to put your needle through until you find the, the, the one that's just right. So um, the needle gauge is $16.95, but 15% off this week with the code product of the week. So um, I, just, I just like, like, the person who designed, the, <coughs> the woman behind the company, like, she's a knitter. Um, she really has designed these with aesthetics in mind and with um, just things are sleek, things are, are functional, like everything. What were you going to say? What, what is that fantastic thing <laughs> sitting right in front, thing sitting that, in front of me? What is this thing sitting in front of me? You know, looks like a MacBook Air. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, this is, this is the chart keeper. I forget what it's actually called, but we, it's the, their version of a chart keeper. It's a maker board. Maker's, maker's board. Maker's board. Um, and I'm going to take off some of the stuff uh, like we when we have it on display we have it holding a piece of paper to show how it can hold a piece of paper and um we call it the macbook air of of pattern keepers because we have ones from knitter's pride who that are lovely that are not on sale this week that are more like a trapper keeper like they remind us of things we had from the 80s they're thicker they're and they're chunky and they're padded yeah. and you know which is you know they're quilted and it's lovely if that is your aesthetic um, this guy, oh, I'm like, there's two little leather ones. Um, let me put those all together. All the little magnets it comes with. This guy 
when he is closed, he is very slim and sleek, and I can fit mine in uh, my pretty tight computer case that fits my MacBook Air, um, and it fits this and not much else, but it fits in there with it, and I can still zip it shut. So these are um, washable paper, Washable right? paper, just like the craft caddies. Just like the craft caddy, which I, and again, all of this stuff is on sale. So the craft caddy, which we could talk more about later. This is my, oh, my yarn just went flying. This is my very well-loved craft caddy um, that is bulging out on the sides just a little bit, but it has a rectangular shape. And that is washable paper I, as well. I have I have washed my craft caddy. Mm -hmm. um, you basically chuck it in the wash. You don't even need soap. It just all kind of it gets cleans wet. It. And it doesn't disintegrate though, which is yeah. Good. It, and then you just let it air dry and mm -hmm. you can give it that like roughed up waxed canvas look if yep. you want to. I haven't. I've just used mine. I haven't washed it. But um, but that that actually is one of the benefits of this guy too. So so this guy folds out. So you can have it stand up and it comes with a handful of magnets. It doesn't come with everything we, we have on display with it. But this right, this piece here, this little piece here and this piece here, they all have a metal insert, not a magnet, just metal. Um, and they're like, they actually say, be a little careful with it. But if you needed to wash it, like here's the small piece. If you needed to wash it, you take the metal pieces out and you can wash um, the maker's board, which is kind of cool. Um, if you, you, I have used this guy flat and then magnets, you know, things stick to it. Um, the other products we have from coconuts that are not magnets, they won't stick to the board, but they could stick to, um, like this is a place, <laughs> this is a, <laughs> I just put magnets on the board and then this will stick to so one of the things we don't have pictured here or in front of us to show off is there is um, a row counter a clicky row counter this is my clicky motion clicky row counter that has a metal back on it so if you had one of these magnets if you had one of these magnets on your maker's board you could put the row counter on like have it tack down your pattern and then you can put the row counter right on top of your pattern so you know what row you're on you can have it all yep. in one place you can keep your cable needles on this if you're not one who wants to wear like something on their wrist like the makers keep yes uh, i keep talking okay i'm just um part of what i think liz might be doing is she's putting out the magnets that do come with your makers board um a straight edge piece, which would be lovely to keep track of your pattern, is sold separately. But this is what comes with the maker's board. There are four of those, like, like biodegradable um, paper, like, plant fiber um, guys in, like, a nice oatmeal, a nice neutral that have magnets in them to hold your pattern. You can use these in any combination you want. Yep. But you've got four round ones. We sell some colorful round ones separately. Um, you, those I usually use to tack my pattern down with, but you also have like two little magnet, li little circles. Like some of those are to hold the gadgets and gizmos on the maker's board. If you want to, there are two flat rectangles and there is one chunkier rectangle. And these could be used to angle, like, I'm going to steal it back from you. That's fine. Um, what? Again, if I'm not getting the extra accessories, which we re highly recommend, but it may not be in your budget, and we get that. Like, I can put this guy here for how far out I want this if I'm going to use this propped up. And it might sit behind it, or it might actually, because the metal attach right to it. But then I've got this at an angle where I can read it from, put it on the table and read it from the couch or the chair or wherever I'm going from. If um, you already have a maker's board or any of the metal magnety things these are two things we love that accessorize yeah. with it yeah it, like if you have your own um chart keeper that has magnetism working for it um or if you want to get something to go with your maker's board um yeah this says it's the coconuts ruler and gauge uh, the ruler is perfect for like a half sheet of paper and this one i use to keep my board propped up and it has a needle gauge in it, but they like the ruler is good for measuring, right? It's also good if your if your um, paper goes this way, 
and you want something that goes just across it, the gauge one, if we move this out of the way, fits across the long ways as well. All kinds of functional purposes. But these work much better. So the um, I love my knitter's keep, knit, my, my knitter's pride um, chart keeper. It comes with a little magnetic strip that isn't perfectly straight and can move more than these guys can. None of this is guaranteed to not shift if you just close this up and, and took it somewhere. But um, we like these a lot for keeping track of where you are on a pattern. We think they're a really good accessory. They're not sold with the maker's board. I want to say the maker's board is somewhere in the range of $40. Mm -hmm. And um, and then the ruler and gauge are in the $16 and change range. Um, again, you will be saving 15% with the code product of the week on all of this stuff. Um, but we find that these two items that are sold separate, these are sold as a bundle, are really super functional to go with this, but they're not sold with it. And there's a few examples of that with cocoa knits where things are sold separately and it's like, but why? But for some people, they already have what they need or they want to only get the magnet liners rather than the whole entire set. So having things broken down into pieces makes things a little more functional and sometimes more affordable. Well, and so. if you already own a magnet board, either a Knitter's Pride one or like the um, that it's just a sheet of metal that uh, needle pointers use mm -hmm. or whatever, individual That's an pieces awesome that will work accessory. with it. Yes. yes. So um, to return to this guy, this guy, the um, the caddy itself, which you know when I hold it up like this, the caddy itself has all kinds of pockets in it. It folds down flat if you want it to. Uh, want it to. The handles are sold separately. I want to say the combination of the two is close to fifty dollars, if not just over fifty dollars. Um, you could get, you don't have to have the handles if you're not planning on carrying it around places but need storage or need it to be a functional item at home. Kind of like a yarn bowl but with pockets and organization. The pockets um, are amazing. There's a big one on the back side facing me. Um, there's two on the outside. These are on the outside um, facing the camera. There are uh, a various size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are nine pockets that kind of fold out along the inner edge um and so for scissors for needles for things like that it can be really great uh, to help organize your space i've got my local yarn store day shawl in here and i'm sticking i stuck my patterns along the edge i can still carry it with 11 i mean eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper I, in the side of it i want to say down. that the the maker's board fits in there as well I think we've tried that before that yeah awesome streamlined like it sits up above the edge of this but if you get the short handles we sell both the short and the long the short were designed to go with this you can get the long ones too if you want you tie them on the reason they're sold separately I mean some of that is to break it down into more affordable chunks the other thing is you attach the handles yourself the, the handles are genuine leather they are well worn on mine um, but you can untie these and take them off if you need to wash um, the caddy itself. You can detach them, wash the caddy, and not worry about damaging the leather, and put them back on when it's dry and when it's set. So, um, there again, we're not going over all and itemizing all the prices of all the products. Um, some other things that Liz pulled out here, um, the flight of stitch markers, which has five different um types of stitch markers inside just little tubes of them all there that's about 25 dollars or so um and it's it's a great gift it's great if you only need like maybe 20 to it's like a dozen two dozen of each stitch marker in different colors i believe right something like that um four of six colors in each mm -hmm. so, so that's 24 24 in each math yay but if you don't need 60 which i'm like but but 60 super functional um and all of this like oh over half of the products or more like the packaging still works as a carry case once you've bought it like it's not the flimsy plastic that then you have to throw away it's they come with their own carry cases um another thing we've got um 
we have washing bags, both small and large, for your hand knit garments to, if you want to throw them into the washing machine on delicate, that kind of thing. This, these might help with that. Um, they're like ultra fine laundry bags um, in really neat shapes. So they're, they're kind of tubular and really fun. And we also have a few of the extra absor absorbent uh, towels. So if you're someone who when you block, you soak, and then you need to roll out the moisture, um, instead of using home towels where you might soak through two or three trying to get all the moisture back out, the extra absorbent towels, I actually have not been able to test them yet, but they're supposed to be super awesome. I, I have used them a few times to... The, absor the extra absorbent ones? Yeah. Oh, cool. Because I haven't gotten around to it. So I, I, I use them for my hair. No. So, like, after I've <laughs> toweled my hair dry, I'll, I'll sit there and retwist my hair back up in those, and it still sucks. It sucks a lot of water yeah. out. Yeah. And they're really big. You yeah. get one, but it's really they're big. They're bath sheet um, size. It's it's pretty cool. I think it's, yeah. it's like this microfiber extra absorbent stuff. So it's not thick, but it absorbs a whole lot of water. So that can be really helpful in your um, blocking journeys especially if you don't have a washing machine that has a spin only cycle yeah um then then it can take a lot to get water out of your garment and it can take a long time for it to dry so anyway um there may be more products i'm going to work after we finish filming this to put all of the coconuts products like i actually like one that we haven't sold a whole lot of but we have them um they have tape measures and I'll make sure, and we have a handful of colors, and they are more like the metal tape measures with a with an actual hook edge. I wish I'd remembered we had these when I needed yeah. to measure over where the map is going, because um, I was like, I wish I had a tape measure with a hook, and then the, like more like a stable big honking tape measure. It's thin and delicate, but um, and it it doesn't stay out. There's no like retractor button. It's you gotta hold it out. Um, but this is that. Um, this is that plant fiber, I believe, and um, it's got inches and centimeters on it, and it's a pretty long one. I want to say it might even be a 60 inch. I can't guarantee that. I'd have to look it up. There is a, wait, there's a little piece of paper in here. 100% fermented plant starch. Woohoo! That's all it says. Okay, so we, <coughs> we probably have some colors of these online. Just know they're not ones that stay out and have a retractor button. They tried to, like, cut down on the um, materials that are in it. So um, I'm going to work on putting everything that has the coconuts label on it into the product of the week category and making sure the code works for it. So you just need to put in the code at checkout time product of the week with spaces in between. And just please note that Saturday you can only use one code. So pick your poison. I like, and I, that sounds like a bad thing, but pick, pick your good reward. Um, chances are if you're buying, unless you're only, well, even if you're only buying coconuts, the, um, 20% off code is going to save you more. So, but it can only take one code. So if you put one in and then go put the other one in, the last one you put in is the one that will be applied to your purchase. So, um, we need to go. We have a lesson this morning and Oh, I'm looking at all the bags that you can't see that are just off camera that I need to deal with. We have lots to do. We have lots to do. So we're going to go do that. It's a good thing it's a cold, rainy day. Right? And so maybe if we have a chance, we will talk about um, Casa Pinka kits tomorrow. Um, we'll see if I have more of my shawl done by tomorrow. It, it's We jokingly call this Wednesday death day, which means we're just really tired by the time we go home on Wednesday after the full day of Tuesday with sit and stitch and then another day working. So we'll see how much time I have tonight to make progress on my local yarn store day shawl. And, um, I think we'll talk tomorrow. If you have any questions for dear Becky and Lizzie, we have one. okay. Um, if you have any more, send them to Liz at sundragon art and fiber.com. Please email her. Um, and, if we have extra time, I, maybe we will be talking about local yarn store day kits for Casa Pinka. I have a baby. It's a little baby It's zombie a zombie yarn. yarn. <laughs> okay, we got to go. We love y'all. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.